this is one of our next guests whys why our next guest works tirelessly year after year to raise money to fight something that likely impacts us all of course we're talking about cancer and this holiday season your help can make a difference and we'd like to introduce you to Dawn Pappas. She's the chair of the upcoming holiday wrappings event in Ocean City. Dawn is also a board member of the American Cancer Society Greater Philadelphia chapter. Dawn, thank you so much for being here this afternoon. Thanks for having me. We showed a picture of your brother um, just a moment ago. You lost him when you were only 12? Yes, he had childhood cancer. He was diagnosed uh, in November and passed in May. Uh, and it was four days before his fourth birthday, so he had, it, it affected me very early on, so that was a cause that I've just decided as an adult to continue fighting for. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure that left quite the impression, but it doesn't stop there, does it? No, you know, cancer touches everyone's life. Um, it touched my family many times. I recently lost my mom to a, a geoblastoma brain tumor which her brother had died of the same thing 20 years earlier. We're sorry. Yeah, yeah, we are very, very sorry. Okay, so that brings us to the event, Holiday Wrappings. It's a fun event. Yes, it Tell is. us a little bit about it. It's a fun, exciting event. It's been going on for 30 plus years. Mm. We use local retailers, all independent local retailers, to do the fashion. We have a beautiful hot lunch, and we are raising money. So we have a Chinese auction, a silent auction, and this year we're going to start an online auction the day of the event and follow it through. Uh, for one week. Wow, this is really the shindig, isn't it? Yes, and uh, we're, um, you know, have a great sponsor with uh, Tidal Health as our premium sponsor. So where do the funds go? This is very interesting. The funds actually go to the Hope Lodge in Baltimore. And the Hope Lodge in Baltimore is a home away from home for cancer patients who need more treatment than is available here on the shore. If they're going to John Hopkins or University of Maryland Hospital, it is a place for them to stay free. You have to live 40 miles away from Baltimore to use it, so it's not really a Baltimore facility. Right. It's the oldest facility, Hope Lodge, that American Cancer Society has. It um, was built in 1987. So we're needing major upgrades and renovation, and we're actually moving across the street to the old Ronald McDonald House. It will increase uh, capacity by 30%. We're always on a wait. Uh, Eastern Shore, Maryland had uh, 71 patients in 2019 uh, in Baltimore, which was about 3,700 nights stay. Oh my goodness. And it saved the, uh, the patients, families, uh, about $650,000. That's wow. just on the shore. So we have decided that we wanted to airmark our money to Hope Lodge. They have a $10 million campaign that just got kicked off yeah. to renovate and update the new facility to accommodate 30% more patients. All right, you so sold us on it. You so sold give, us, yeah. yeah. Give us the details when and where. Okay, it is December 7th at the Bolony e. Powell Convention Center in Ocean City, Maryland. Doors open at 10 and we round up about two o'clock, we're done. There you go. So. I mean, we're out of time, we need to go, but can I ask you a personal question sure. real quick? What do you think your mom and brother would think? Oh, I'm, my mom really instilled um, volunteerism when I was growing up, yeah. and I think she's just glowing and yeah. happy. And yeah. proud. Yeah. And proud. Yeah, I'm proud. Yeah. yeah.